Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're having a look at all my Muay Thai shorts. Um, kind of like an honest review of all the shorts that I have. I've got a couple of brands I've worn um, for the last couple of years and recently some different brands as well. So we're going to have a look at them. Uh, some shorts I've had for a really long time. So you can have a check of the durability, the quality and just how the color wears in time. And just mostly comfort because you want to be able to wear something that's comfortable while you're training. This is Toyo, everyone. Um, something comfortable while you're training so you can move your legs and also something that doesn't expose you. So as all the girls out there, um, I've got like some short shorts underneath and I can talk you guys through which shorts preferably you can wear um, with these and what shorts you can wear without these as well. So let's get started. We're going to start with my oldest pair of shorts. I used to only wear these to training um, and these are the Top King retro shorts and I have them in a size M and they fit me pretty well. Like I've had these for a long time because you can see the color and like just the quality of it is still really good. So the band is quite comfortable and it is quite short so you can move around comfortably in your kicking and also like teeps and knees. Um, yeah, like zero complaints about my Top King shorts. I love them. I used to have like three pairs of the same ones and the material is not see-through. It's like quick dry and I've honestly, like, I've just chucked them in the wash and haven't really like done any hand washing. So it's really just kind of kept really well. So in terms of durability and quality, I say like this is really good and comfort as well is good as well. Um, just in terms of like how high they go, like I would say like some people don't quite like how high they go just because it kind of hikes up your thigh when you're training. But for me, um, I haven't really had that issue because I'm not that big around the hips, I would say. So it kind of like sat on my legs quite well, but you'll see when I put it on anyway. So in terms of like top king quality, I love them. I've had them for a long time and like they were my favorite shorts for like the longest time. So as you can see guys, it kind of sits quite low, like around like the low abdominal area and it flares out as well. So it's comfortable in your thighs um, and it sits really comfortably around the waist area as well. So the band doesn't really suffocate like up high on your waist or your belly. It just sits really comfortably down here and you can just move your legs easily for Muay Thai. Bop. Um, and as I said down here, it can get a little bit loose depending on how thick you are around the thighs. So I would um, suggest wearing like some of these short shorts underneath. You're like a little bit slimmer, but I have seen people with thicker thighs and it just fits them really snugly and it just like fits perfectly. Yeah, so that's the top king. All right, so let's move on to all my twin shorts. I've had these, um, some of them were given to me as a gift from the Sit Japo coaches, so Crew F. Um, and I've had them for a long time as well, as you can see from like, just the, like, the color. So they were kind of like a hand-me-down. I love these because they were a present. So I have these ones. Um, these were definitely made in Thailand. And this is a size L and it fits me pretty snug, but this was made in Thailand. And we have a newer, like twin special shorts. So these are new in for the gym that I train at and fight out of. And this is a size S. So you can probably, I'll put it on in a second, you can see like the difference. So I think they have different cuts depending on where they're shipping to or who they're for. So I would say if you're still looking for like purchasing online, you would probably be a size S if you're like the same size as me. Um, and similar to these ones. So these were like the Sit Japo twin shorts. Again, these were like a gift and they are also size L. Yeah. And these ones were, yeah, so this is size M. So like the sizing kind of varies quite a bit, but I would still say that if you're purchasing online um, to buy yourself like some twin shorts, I would say you'd be a size S if you're around the same size as me. All right. So let's put on the older one, which is, I love these by the way, like they're like, so heartfelt. Um, all right, so I'll put these on so you can have a look and I'll put them versus this one, which is the latest one that we have. All right, so as you can see here, like this is the L in the twins and it fits me pretty snugly. So if it was anything smaller than that, it would be like way too tight for me. So around the waistband area, like it's really comfortable. It's just a little bit higher than what I showed you before, like the top king one, um, but still like around the low abdominal area, it doesn't hug too tightly. And this gives you lots of like, again, breathing room to move your legs. I would say like most high shorts are designed for kicking, which is why we wear it anyway for kicking. Um, yeah, so in terms of the material, like depending on what it is, so I think this one is like a mixture of like nylon or like some kind of polyester. It's a little bit see-through, but these ones, these ones are not. Yeah, so I'll talk you through as well, like the see-through uh, material. So this one's polyester like this new Twins ones polyester, and it's not see-through at all. But these ones, I feel like when you do get a little bit sweaty, you can probably see through it a little bit. So just be mindful of what you're wearing inside. 
Um, and I'll pop these ones on now. This is size S and you'll see how it fits me as well. All right, so this is the twin size S. Yeah, as you can see, like, it's a little bit looser for me here. So I would say like, these are the ones that you're purchasing online for twins. If you're a size eight around the same like cut and size as me, um, this would fit you just fine. So I'm about like 169 centimeters as well, just as a reference. So easy to move around, really comfortable, not see through, and also just the thickness of the material. It's quite thick. Um, some of the other shorts I have are quite thin in the material, but I'll say the Twins one has like a little bit of body to it. All right, so let's move on. And the next one we're gonna have a look at are my Pride shorts. So I wore these in Thailand and Pet Indy and also bought them there. So it kind of felt like it was uniform because everyone's wearing Pride, but I do love them. Like the quality of Pride is just amazing. Um, so let's pop them on and have a little look and a little chat about it. All right, so I'm wearing my Pride. Oh, thank you, Machi. I'm wearing the Pride size S and I would say straight away, um, in terms of the fit, I would feel like these are actually quite snug and they're quite tight as well. So um, I'm not sure if you're like me, but my weight fluctuates depending on fight cams and just how I am. I guess I kind of fluctuate a little bit like between like one to two kilos. So I can definitely feel it when I put on weight. And then when I'm closer to my fight, like these just like hang off me, I guess. Um, I'm a size S in Pride. The material wise, very thick, love the material. It just kind of folds up a little bit when you move your legs. So I guess when you're showing like knees and kicks, they do end up folding up a little bit. Um, but again, like I love the quality. Like everyone that I've kind of given these shorts to have loved it. You can buy them online. Um, but yeah, like I have no complaints, love them. I'll probably go and buy some more when I go back to Pet Indy. And I have ordered like the Pride gear as well after coming back to Australia. So I have a couple of shorts and they're all, um, I honestly have just chucked them in like the wash. I know the, the washing instruction says like hand wash and I'm pretty sure that's the same for most of these Thai shorts, but I have chucked most of mine just in like the regular wash. And I've had these ones for around three years now and the color, like the stitching and everything is still looking pretty brand new. So yeah, I love them. Um, same with the red ones, like everything looks still really good. Yeah. So. Pride, great quality shorts. The fit's a little bit tighter, so make sure you check your measurements if you do decide to buy them online. I'm not too much, I'm not too sure about the pricing and depends on where you are as well because shipping can be quite expensive. Um, but yeah, if you're in Thailand and you just pop by a Pet Indy, they have them in stock there. You can just pick them up and their wraps, really good. The Pet Indy wraps are amazing. All right, let's move on um, to some Fairtex shorts. So to be honest, all my Fairtex shorts are actually my fight shorts as well. And I'll just chuck them up here because they're actually sponsors for Rebellion. So I've had all my Fairtex shorts from my fights and Rebellion. So I haven't actually bought any Fairtex shorts but we'll have a chat about them today as well. So in terms of material wise, um, not see-through, and I'm wearing a size S for Fairtex, and I think, oh yeah, made in Thailand, and they're polyester. Yeah, so I'm gonna pop them on, and we'll have a little chat about these ones. All right, so these are the Fairtex shorts. Um, they sit a little bit higher as well, so like just around the waistline. I might move the camera back so you can see. There we go, that's a little bit better. So they sit a little bit higher. So all the other shorts I showed you kind of sit around like just below, below the belly button, but this one, sits across so it kind of comes up quite high you can always fold these shorts as well which we do during fights or you can just have them sitting around um, your belly button over here so the band is really thick and i would say that's pretty comfortable um, depending on how you are i guess in your stomach area some of these shorts if they're quite tight um, like let's say they're a little bit tighter with the drawstring it can get a little bit uncomfortable in your training just because it starts to feel like it's suffocating your belly but i mean if you're like um, much bigger of course you kind of want to have like comfortable around like the belly area as well so these ones i think just um with the width of the waistband really good really comfortable they move really well when you move as well um and the pants flare out so just in terms of the cut as you can kind of see here they flare out in the thigh area so it doesn't hug your legs at all I would recommend though, like for the girls to wear something underneath, just cause when you're lifting your legs up, you can start to see underneath the thigh. So just cause of the cut, you know, it just kind of like flares out. Whereas the pet indie ones like kind of snugly hug your like thigh area. So yeah, so fair tech shorts, really good quality of course. Um, but yeah, just in terms of the cut, like I can move my legs really freely here, like no problems at all. Just, you know, make sure you're wearing shorts inside. And again, I've washed these like over and over again. Color stays fine 
and just in terms of like the drawstring and the uh, quality of the band over there, it's great. Like it still fits me snugly. So yeah, so these are my FairSex shorts. Again, all of them, like the price range are kind of similar. I would say like they're around $80 um, Australian if you purchase them online. But FairSex does have quite a lot of new, I would say, designs which I've seen like in store and they look really nice and like the colors are really great as well. So like, yeah, check them out if you're interested in getting some matching FairTex gear and FairTex shorts. So no complaints. Everyone loves them at the fight shows. Yeah, super comfortable. All right, so my in fight style shorts were actually again a gift from the Sit Chapel Brothers and I'll just pop them on. I only have one pair of these and I've always been a big fan of their, um, their shorts but I never really got them online. In terms of quality, again, great. Like I've had these for like, probably, like honestly, I think like over five years and everything still looks great. Like the color still looks really vibrant, the quality. And if you just have a look like close up in terms of like the stitching, like everything's still intact. There's no threads or anything falling off and all the embroidery and everything still looks brand new. Um, yeah, I love the cut of these ones. As you can see, they're quite loose around the thigh area again. So for me, I'm not that big around my hips and my thighs. I don't think so anyway, because they feel quite loose when I, when I wear them. So I do definitely have to wear like short shorts underneath. Otherwise, when I move my legs, I feel like you can see right through under my shorts, which is not great. But I'll pop them on and you can see how they fit. They fit really well. They look very sporty. Um, and yeah, just in terms of like the quality and when you feel them, you can feel like these are really good quality shorts. All right, so these are my in-fight style shorts. Um, yeah, so they're definitely quite loose around the thigh area. So be comfortable for people with like bigger thighs or like, you know, big butts or whatever it is. Definitely not me, I'm super flat. So <laughs> everything here just kind of looks looser. But when it fits and when you move around, um, I would say that, yeah, just because of like the width of the shorts, they're very comfortable, very athletic. The fit's really comfy. And I think just around here, the waistband, super comfortable. It's just right. Like I don't feel like it's super tight or like too loose as well, but it fits, it always has fit really well, even for like the past five years, I think I did feel like the band was really good. Um, but yeah, like honestly, no complaints. Quality is great. All the stitching fits well. It doesn't like pull up too tight as well. There are some shorts that actually pull up quite snugly at the crotch area when you start moving and it just slides up when you're moving. I think that happens to be honest, depending on how heavy I am or what I weigh, I feel like these snug up a little bit. And sometimes my primo shorts, they snug up a little bit as well. But when I'm getting down to like fight weight, like of course everything just feels like it fits great. <laughs> um, but my, these in fight style shorts, they are really comfy. And again, like most of the shorts these days have this like little U-shaped thing here just to make it easy to move. Um, but yeah, so this is what they look like on me. So if you're on the same size as me, this is what they look like. If you wear the shorts underneath, they still look flattering. But that way you can just see a little bit of the shorts. But yeah, they fit really well around the belly button area. No complaints. Yeah, pretty flattering cut. And I really like them. All right, so let's move on to Boone. I think I've got two more brands to cover. So Boone and also Primo. So my Boone shorts, I've had these. I think this is one of like the second or third pair of shorts I had or someone gave it to me when I first started Muay Thai. Again, I can't believe the color is still so vibrant because I've been training for around like eight years and yeah, it's still super vibrant. And I'm just going to have a little quick check. So this was a size S and I have also Boone shorts when I fought on Roots and these were the shorts that we had. So they were our fight shorts on Roots um, and they're also Boone. So I'll just have a look. I think before we had Fairtex as a sponsor, we had Boone. I'm just checking what size they are to give you a reference. Oh yeah, so they're size S as well. So the cut is pretty even across the different um, avenues the way you get these shorts from. So this was purchased online, just like a regular, any kind of fight shop. And this was my fight shorts. So I'll pop them both on. And all right, let's have a look at this one first. I can't even remember, like I haven't worn this in ages. I just pulled them out of the drawer before, but I was wearing them quite regularly, like until maybe about two years ago. Okay, so this is how the Boone shorts fit. I think they're pretty like straight, like to be honest, they feel kind of similar to like the twins ones where they're quite straight down and they're not flaring out. I, I'm not too sure whether the flaring out one's called like the retro style, but this is just like a regular straight cut Muay Thai shorts. I think these are like your pretty common ones. Um, yeah, depending on what your preference is, I guess, or how you like them, you can see how like these ones flare out a little bit more, whereas these ones 
like the balloon ones, they just go straight down. Yeah. Honestly, just like a matter of your preference. Um, they're really comfortable, so they're not too tight around like the inner thigh area. Yeah, they actually fit me quite loosely, to be honest. Like just around everything around from the waist band down feels quite airy. Like there's nothing that feels like it's hugging me very tightly. I'll just pop these ones on. Let's have a look whether it's similar. All right, so these are my Roots Fight Shorts. Um, again, boon quality, not see-through. Um, yeah, this is, to be honest, they're really not quite fitting. Like I can't really feel anywhere that snugly holds me. So I would say like it's a straight cut or like more like a traditional Muay Thai shorts cut. I think more recently, everything's a little bit more like tight and fitting around the body. But I feel like the older, more traditional cuts, nice and wide and straight. Um, but yeah, no complaints. Quality is great in terms of like, I think the design, I haven't really seen much new Boone shorts around, like just in the gyms that I train at. A lot of people are wearing like Yokao, Fairtex, which I actually don't have any Yokao shorts to talk about today. Um, Yokao, Fairtex, Primo, um, yeah, and some Top King as well. But yeah, just your good quality traditional Muay Thai shorts, really good. All right, let's have a talk about Primo. So I have a lot of Primo shorts and I do wear them majority of the time now just because they were sent to me by the nice guys at Primo. Um, so they have these ones which are nylon and you have these ones which are, wait, let me just have a look. I believe that they are polyester or satin. So yeah, if you just have like that kind of like the material difference, I would say these two or a few of them, like these ones, same material, much thicker in terms of like the material not as crisp as the nylon ones. You can kind of feel when you like, can you kind of hear it? Like, so it's a bit of like a crisp one, but it's a pretty soft material. Um, but yeah, so let's talk through the Primo ones. I'm currently wearing the nylon ones um, and I have a couple of them here. So I've got like the tan, the pink, and I'm a size S in Primo. They fit, they're pretty fitted. I would say they're pretty fitted. Um, I have heard a couple of my friends who's like a little bit thicker or like bigger butts have said that it's a little bit, the cut's a bit too fitted for them, but for me, it fits fine. So I'll just stand up so you can have a look. But yeah, for me, I feel like it fits really well. It's a flattering cut for my body type. Um, for the nylon ones though, I learned this the hard way, you definitely need to have your short shorts on the inside. If you don't have them, once you get sweaty and they're wet, these shorts are pretty see-through. So like from the back when the light shines in from the gym, you can see what underwear you're wearing. So all the girls out there, please, um, yeah, short shorts on the inside. Otherwise, you'll learn it the hard way like me. Uh, so yeah, so the nylon ones, I say they're really, they actually dry really quickly. In terms of color, I've had the pink ones for the longest time. Uh, the blue and the tan ones are just new, so I haven't washed them that many times, but the pink, I have washed them like quite a few times. So color-wise and like stitching and everything else, Still really good, very bright, like really vibrant. Um, drawstring, a little bit more tight. So I'll say these ones compared to let's say Fairtex, I could feel like the drawstring kind of holds in a little bit tighter. So again, depending on like your body type, this might hold around your waist or your stomach area tighter than the other shorts. So if you're not too comfortable having a short that's quite tight around the stomach area, either maybe buy like a size bigger or buy a different cut. Yeah, so the the nylon ones are a little bit tighter around the waist and also just in the inner thigh area as well. So when I move around, I kind of do notice that like they snug up quite up onto my crotch area. Um, so yeah, just it really depends on your body type. Like for me, it fits fine. Like it works fine. Like in terms of training and how I feel like it flatters my body or not, I do love the cut and I think like it comes out really nicely. All right, so straight away I can tell you, yep, definitely looser around the waistband area of the drawstring area. Again, the fit, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like the Primo um, cut is really flattering for my body type. So I do like to wear them and they kind of go with like any t-shirt or top that you're wearing. Whereas I feel like when you have like the shorts that flare out a bit more, um, let's have a look. Like I think these ones, sometimes when I rock up to training with like a big t-shirt on, I look a bit strange, but um, but these ones I feel like you can kind of pull it off with any baggy t-shirt or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so these are the different cut for the Primo brand as well. 
So again, really comfortable. All the Muay Thai shots I've had, no issues with moving around in training, sparring. These ones are not see-through, so you don't have to wear the, like, the short shorts on the inside. And they're not too loose as well underneath, so you're probably going to get away with not wearing one of these underneath and still nothing peeking through. So the cut is similar for, um, this one I felt was like a little bit straighter to be honest, but this one and these ones, just a little bit looser I would say, just the cut flares out a little bit, not as fitted as the nylon ones, but color wise, nylon ones are awesome. Yeah, these single colored ones, very crisp. They look like, they look sharp. They make you, you know, kind of feel sharper in training as well. Um, but yeah. So those are kind of all my Muay Thai shots that I have. So quality wise, to be like, all of them are really good quality shorts. So I have no complaints about them. I haven't really tried any other, like, like the cheaper brands for your Muay Thai shorts. So I say across the board, just in terms of price point, since they're all pretty similar, the quality is really good as well. And they're all similar quality shorts. Um, in terms of fit, I would say, like from tight to loose fitted, I would say tighter ones would be pride and it moves up to your like top king, boon, in fight style around there. Even, oh, I think like, yeah, twins probably be like second tightest. And then you have primo. And then I would say fair text is quite loose and like, yeah, not as fitted. And yeah, quality wise, I think I've just chucked them all in the wash. Like I wear them, you know, at least two shorts a day, come back home, wash them, dry them, hanging out in the sun. I think if you hand wash these ones, they'll last much longer and they're probably better for like the drawstring and the waistband as well. So you want to take care of Muay Thai shorts, hand wash them, but I've honestly just chucked them into the washing machine and all of them have turned out just fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found that useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the Muay Thai shorts or the fit. Again, I'm a size eight, I'm about 169 centimeters. Um, so it should give you like a bit of like a guide of what you're looking for if you're shopping online for your Muay Thai shorts. And yeah, any questions, just drop me a DM or put it in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.